Good morning everyone. It's Tuesday morning and we're going to come together and read this morning from God's Word. We're going to read Proverbs chapter 24. So let's hear it together. Don't envy evil people or desire their company, for their hearts plot violence and their words always stir up trouble. A house is built by wisdom and becomes strong through good sense. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. The wise are mightier than the strong, and those with knowledge grow stronger and stronger. So don't go to war without wise guidance. Victory depends on having many advisors. Wisdom is too lofty for fools. Among leaders at the city gates, they have nothing to say. A person who plans evil will get a reputation as a troublemaker. The schemes of a fool are sinful. Everyone detests a mocker. If you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. Rescue those who are unjustly sentenced to die. Save them as they stagger to their death. Don't excuse yourself by saying, look, we didn't understand. We didn't know. For God understands all hearts and he saves you. He who guards your soul knows you well. He will repay all people as their actions deserve. My child, eat honey for it is good and the honeycomb is sweet to the taste. In the same way, wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, you will have a bright future and your hope will not be cut short. Don't wait in ambush at the home of the godly. Do not raid the house where the godly live. The godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. Don't rejoice when your enemies fall. Don't be happy when they stumble, for the Lord will be displeased with you and will turn his anger away from them. Don't fret because of evildoers. Don't envy the wicked, for evil people have no future. The light of the wicked will be snuffed out. My child, fear the Lord and the King. Don't associate with rebels, for disaster will hit them suddenly. Who knows what punishment will come from the Lord and the King? Amen. And we'll pause there this morning. I wonder how you're feeling this morning. It's Tuesday morning. The week has already started. Uh, Monday has passed. It's the 2nd of February. Again, we are getting near where we should have been saying at the end of this week, oh, great, we're going to be pausing um, the lockdown. But as we know, lockdown's been extended now into March. And maybe you're finding that hard and you're difficult. Maybe you're, you're struggling with it and saying, nobody knows how I feel. Nobody understands how frustrating this is for me. Well, for one, we are all going through this together. You know, we're, we're, we're all in the same situation. So even though you might feel isolated and alone, you're not. But more importantly, the person who understands you is God. And it says it here in this passage. Verse 12 says, God understands all hearts and he sees you. He who guards your soul knows you well. He will repay all the people for the actions they deserve. God sees you. God knows you. God is with you. And even through this difficult time, he is there to look after us, to carry us, to help us, to do what a father does, to put his arms around us. And lift us up when we fall down. Because yes, we will stumble and fall at times. But we will keep going because we have God on our side. Look at what it says down in verse 16. The godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked or those who don't know God. And it says, don't rejoice when your enemies fall. Don't be alarmed when they stumble. Rather, we should help them. So yes, if you are struggling, God knows that. If you are finding it just overwhelming, give it over to God. He is there to help us um, and then he will look after us and protect us. But as well as that, it talks here about um, don't rejoice when your enemies fall. Rather, we should be helping. So let's continue to help one another. Let's continue to reach out to one another. Let's continue just to phone one another and say, how are you doing? But in doing that, let's make a promise to each other that we will be honest about how we're feeling because let's be honest now how many times you phone somebody and say oh, i'm fine 
But then as you chat to them and as time goes on, you realise they're not fine and there is something which is bugging them or something which is annoying them or upset them. And then maybe they share that with you. So whenever we call one another and somebody asks us, how are you doing? Let's be honest. Let's share with one another in an honest way so that then we can pray for one another and we can support one another. But knowing that ultimately it is God who has us. Let's pray together this morning. Father, again, thank you for your word and thank you for what it brings to us. Thank you for the encouragement of it. Thank you for the reminder that we are not alone, but that you are with us. Uh, Lord, please help us to look out for one another, uh, not to knock each other down, but to be there to support one another and help us to be honest with one another as well, Father, so that we can help each other through what is for us a difficult time. So, Lord, we thank you and continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching. Take care and uh, see you again tomorrow morning. Uh, stay safe and may God bless you. Bye for now.